When it comes to reverse sourcing, there's one software tool that stands well above all the rest out there that we use on literally a daily basis to find hundreds of profitable products per month in our wholesale business. And that tool is called Smart Scout. So Smart Scout was developed by Scott Needham, who owns Buy Boxer, which is actually one of the largest Amazon wholesale businesses in the world. And so Scott has been in the trenches for over 10 years. He's developed this tool using his experiences from growing that business. And it has just a ton of applications really for every business model on Amazon, but it really has a lot of great applications for wholesale. And one of those applications, like I said, is uh, assisting you when it comes to reverse sourcing. So here in a second, we're going to jump into my screen and we're going to go into just a quick use case on what that looks like. But before we do that, if this type of video is helpful, be sure to subscribe for more. I come out with these videos every single week. Like the video and then leave a comment if you've used Smart Scout before, if it's helped you in any way, and just with your general thoughts on the video. So let's go ahead and jump into my screen and we'll get into Smart Scout and how to use that for reverse sourcing. All right, so here we are in the Smart Scout app. And so what you're going to see here on the home page is a lot of the, the primary tools that Smart Scout has really assigned for resellers. So the brands tool, the UPC scanner tool, the traffic graph tool, and the seller search tool are all the main tools that Smart Scout sees as being beneficial to resellers. And so in this case, when it comes to just reverse sourcing efforts, we're going to be looking at the brands tool. So we're going to come over here on the left side of the screen and choose brands. And so this is how this Smart Scout's going to work in comparison to Amazon. So if you've watched any of my other videos or read any of my Twitter threads when it comes to reverse sourcing, you'll know that when we do reverse sourcing from a supplier catalog to Amazon, we always start on Amazon. And in this case, we're going to use the brand Milwaukee, which is a brand of tools and automotive equipment. We're going to use that brand here for our example. So let's start off by going to Amazon and, and doing our search there. So if we're starting on Amazon, we're going to be searching for Milwaukee. And so here we see in the top left, we've got well over 6,000 results for Milwaukee. Now, Obviously, not all 6,000 of these results are going to be specifically for the brand that we're looking for. There are probably going to be a lot of irrelevant results in there. But at the end of the day, we've still got about 6,000 products to go through just for this brand and just for the sake of reverse sourcing. So how this process would look without Smart Scout, and again, this is something I've gone in detail on in other videos, but it just involves us scrolling through here and really taking a look at the the number of FBA sellers here and then the rank as well. And so here we're, look, we're really we're looking for any listings where Amazon's not dominating the listing and that has a few FBA sellers. So we know that somebody's getting it somewhere profitably. And then when we look at the Keepa that, that pops up in the bottom right, we're just doing a quick spot check to make sure that, again, that the price isn't really fluctuating too rapidly or that Amazon themselves are not really dominating the listing. So right here, I'm seeing this would make a good fit because we look at the Keepa, we see that Amazon's not dominating the listing. We see there's other FBA activity. It looks like this one would be a fit as well. This one here, this one here. So really you see how when it comes to reverse sourcing without using a tool like Smart Scout here on Amazon, we're having to manually go through these results one by one. And typically what I would do is I would open each of these up in a new tab. Anything that meets our criteria from a quick spot check you open up into a new tab and then we just quickly look at the Keepa, make sure that, like I said, it meets that criteria that we mentioned earlier, not dominated by Amazon, relatively steady price history, which is kind of what we're seeing here and other FBA sellers, because if there are other FBA sellers on the listing, that's actually a good thing because it means that most likely somebody is getting this profitably from somewhere. So what we would do, on Amazon, like I said, is we would go through literally all 6,000 results for the Milwaukee search term, and we're going to open every single product up in a new tab that might be a good fit. Then we're going to go back to our supplier's catalog and see if we can find the specific model numbers for these listings in their catalog. If they have it at a profitable price, then we add it to our order. If it's not profitable, we skip over it. And if they don't carry it at all, then we look to get a quote for that specific product. So that's how that process looks when you're doing it manually in a various tedious fashion. And sorry, in a very tedious fashion going from Amazon, not using a tool like Smart Scout. So this is what it's going to look like using a tool like Smart Scout. So instead of having to do all this manual research, right, go through 6,000 results, many may or may not be relevant. What we can do is we come over here to Smart Scout. And like I said, we navigate to the brand tab. 
And here on the brand filter, we're just going to type in Milwaukee. Okay. And now you can choose a specific category. So again, with Milwaukee being primarily a tool brand, you can choose the tools and home improvement category. But we like to keep our filters really wide open when it comes to any tools like this, just so that we don't miss anything. Because of the fact that a lot of Milwaukee products are actually going to be classified in automotive, for example. And there's some that might be even in, it might even be in, um, you know, home, home and kitchen for some reason. So a lot of stuff can get miscategorized and you can miss over it. You, you can skip over it if your filters are set too tight. So we're literally just going to search for the brand Milwaukee. We're going to hit search. And so what that's going to show us is it's going to show us the top 20,000 brands that have that, that keyword and the brand name. And so obviously there's not going to be a ton that, um, there's not going to be 20,000 that have Milwaukee in the, the brand name, but it's just, that's just what smart is going to show us. So if we come here, so we're seeing 109 brand name results for the search term Milwaukee. So we're seeing here when it comes to categories. So I'm seeing tools and home improvement. I'm seeing automotive, industrial and scientific, office products, electronics, even some clothing, shoes and jewelry, which looks like this is not the Milwaukee we're looking for. But bottom line, that proves my point that you, it really can't choose a category because Milwaukee tools falls into multiple categories. So you'd be leaving a lot of products out by doing that. So what I'm seeing here now is again, I'm seeing 109 brands that contain this keyword and I'm seeing that. Okay. So this brand right here is, this is definitely the Milwaukee brand that we're looking for, right? Because Milwaukee is a very big tool brand. They're in the tools and home improvement category primarily. And the monthly revenue estimate for this brand name on Amazon is about 27 to $28 million per month in revenue. And so that's definitely the Milwaukee in question. Now, if we are just doing your research on Amazon, then chances are you're only going to find this main Milwaukee brand, right? Because it's the biggest one. It's doing 28 million a month in revenue. So that's going to be the one that you see the most of when it comes to search results. Now, the reason Smart Scout is going to be so much better for this type of research is Smart Scout has identified an additional 108 brands that might be a fit for that search term. So here we're seeing like Milwaukee leather. Milwaukee leather might not be, if we open it up, let's see if that is in fact the, so no. So this is a different, this is an entirely unrelated brand. So we're going to skip over them. But the great thing about Smart Scout is it's going to find results for duplicate brand names that Amazon that you would have missed in a manual Amazon search. And so what I mean by that is see, so here we see we've got our third, our third result on this list is Milwaukee, but it's got a period and a space before the word Milwaukee. So you think like, oh, that's weird. Why would that be? Why would that exist? Why wouldn't it just be listed under the regular Milwaukee brand? Well, the reason for that is a lot of these listings were probably created many years ago. They were listed under duplicate brand names or incorrect brand names, such as this one right here, where it's like a period space Milwaukee. So the reason we still want to look at these duplicate brands is because, so this specific brand right here, again, it's period space Milwaukee. So it's not grouped under the, the main Milwaukee brand. However, that brand still accounts for $150,613 in monthly revenue for products listed under that incorrect duplicate brand name, right? And that is a total of, let's see, so there's 15 listings listed under that incorrect brand name. So again, if we would have just been doing our regular manual searching on Amazon using just the Milwaukee search term, we would have missed this misspelled or duplicate Milwaukee brand name that Smart Scout actually found. So if we view this brand on Amazon, let's open this up and see if there's actually any decent listings. So here we're seeing a couple of different listings that would probably meet our spot check criteria for at least for us to at least get a quote on, you know, or at least inquire about pricing. So here, right here is, I mean, multiple solid products incorrectly listed under this duplicate brand name that we would have never found if we would have just used Amazon reverse sourcing methods. So this right here is one of the primary reasons I love Smart Scout because again, that's just one example. So we've got here, you've got Milwaukee A Electric Tools. So this one's clearly the same brand. It's just a duplicate that was spelled incorrectly that 
uh, only has one product listing under it, but that one product listing is accounting for 86K a month in revenue. And that's a month, not a year, right? So, and then we've got multiple duplicate brand names that are all clearly referencing the actual Milwaukee tool brand, many of which have, you know, only one to seven, eight listings. But again, those are listings that would have flown under the radar had you not been using Smart Scout. So again, without beating a dead horse, I think we can all see how Smart Scout is a very powerful tool when it comes to reverse sourcing. And again, this is literally just one use case for the software. There's so many different tools that the software has, everything from a traffic graph to see how much traffic listings are getting. You can see a seller map. So what I've liked to do is I look, I like to look at the map of my city, which is Charlotte, North Carolina, and really see what other sellers are right up the street from me because that can be a phenomenal networking opportunity. It can be a storefront stocking opportunity. There's just limitless ways to use the software to grow your wholesale business. So at the end of the day, guys, that is primarily what it's used for. At least that's what we primarily use it for is reverse sourcing. And again, you can apply this method to any brand that you're looking to reverse source and find a lot of additional products that you would not have found doing this regular sourcing through Amazon. So again, just to... To kind of plug the founder, so Scott Needham, like I said, he's founded Buy Boxer, very big, one of the biggest Amazon wholesale businesses in the country. He's been in the trenches for over 10 years, so he's developed this software using his experience in that business. And so that's really why it's so user-friendly and so effective for what we're using it for. And so, guys, again, this is my, really, this is my unbiased opinion on Smart Scout. I do have an affiliate code that you can use to get, I believe it's 30% off your first three months using the tool. And so that code is just Corey25 in all caps, or I'm going to put a link in the description of this video that'll take you straight to my referral page. And I just get a small kickback from using my code, but I would never have become an affiliate for the software if I didn't truly believe it was one of the best tools on the market for doing that research. And again, it was developed by a big wholesale seller, so you know that it's legit. So if there's any questions about how to use the software, please leave a comment. I love using this stuff. I'm in it every day. So... Let me know what I can do to answer any further questions and I'll be sure to get back to you. Be sure to hit me on Twitter at Ganim Corey. You can send me a DM there as well. I get questions about SmartScout all the time and I'll definitely come out with future videos on how to use this tool even further and even more effectively. So thank you so much for watching up to this point. If there's any questions you had or any future content ideas that you have for me, let me know and stay tuned for more.